The greatest gift humanity has is the gift of consciousness. Traditionally, this is the fire that is stolen from the gods. And the internet is a tool we have been given to help us to live this consciousness of oneness. Because the internet gives us the ability to access, in a way, the whole from wherever we are. And it is really a tool so the everyman, the ordinary person, can have access to this field of oneness, of human knowledge, and also interrelate to anybody else, anywhere else in the world. You know, there are internet cafes in villages in Tajikistan and in Tibet, wherever you go, you can access it. Consciousness is communicating on a plane of oneness in a way that it's never had access to before. And when you have a website and people come together, and if you have like a spiritual website, then it has maybe a little bit of spark, spiritual consciousness in it. And then people, all these little bits of light are being drawn together to participate in something that has a spiritual spark in it. And it, it is, in a way, a certain web of oneness within humanity getting woken up. When Rumi met Shams, Shams did not answer Rumi's theological questions, which he must have had as a theology professor. Shams awoke in Rumi an awareness of something beyond any division, beyond any question, because Shams did not tell anything to Rumi that Rumi didn't already know. It was latent within him until Shams woke him up to it. So it's not like somebody teaching something to somebody. It's like Sufis don't teach because they just uncover what is latent within us. The fire burns away the dross that covers the secret of unity within us. In a way, the beauty is, is that by putting this on the internet, if you're going to translate it to all these different languages, that you are making that secret much more well-known, much more accessible. There is this secret. It happened when these two men met. And the secret was not special to them, but belongs to humanity, which is why Rumi speaks to all of us.